two gorgeous lots so I'm going to go straight in and carve out my brows using my Mac Select covered up in NW15 and then I'm going to go ahead and prime across the whole lid with my Helen E Cosmetics Stage Eyeshadow Primer with the same Zoeva um, concealer brush and then I'm just buffing over the top and blending those two together using this little eBay buff and brush just make sure that's all nice and settled before I go in with my eyeshadow Firstly, I'm dipping into the Morphe 35B palette and just taking that deep purple shade and just pressing that on all through the crease and this is going to act as my like darkest sort of crease shade and I am just lightly buffing that in circle mo circular motions as I press it on just to sort of slightly buff out the line and then just keep building the colour up until I am happy with the intensity of it. Then I'm just going in with a clean blending brush and just slightly buffing off that edge again. So I'm dipping into the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and I'm taking that shade there called Zobo. And I'm just again pressing that down a little bit higher than the purple, patting it on first and then lightly buffing out the edge. So that's acting more as a, of a transition shade to the purple. Again, going in with a clean blending brush and just buffing off the edge. Then I'm going back into my Morphe 35B palette and taking a mixture of those two pink shades just to act as a final transition shade at the sort of more towards the brow area. Then I'm just going back in and deepening up the the dark pink shade blending all the colours together and then finally I'm going back in and deepening up the original dark purple shade in the immediate crease just to give that depth to the eye back for the lid I'm going to mix these two shades from the masquerade palette it's called Chi and Makeda I want to say just that blue and purple at the top corner I'm just pressing those all over the eyelid after I've spritzed my brush with some MAC Fix Plus For glitter, I'm going to take this little mixture of glitter I got um, from the range actually. I saw the craft glitter and it was in a little set together called Peacock or something I think and I just had to have it so I mixed a little bit of each shade together. But I'm just pressing that all over the lid using my NYX glitter glue as always and my little concealer brush and then just patting it down making sure it's all steady. Then I'm just going in with a little touch of that darkest purple again just to deepen up that crease because I did actually cover it up with the glitter. Then I'm priming the under eye using my Max Select covered up again in NW15 just on the same soft concealer brush. I'm buffing that out using my little eBay buffing brush as always. Making sure I get right up to that level lash line. Then I'm dipping into my Morphe 35B palette and just taking that rich blue shade. My camera did cut out while I actually put the colour on but I'm just buffing out the colour with this little um, crown brush just to smooth it out a little bit. And then I'm going in with that darker blue, that navy blue shade on this little Zoeva brush just to deepen up the lower lash line a little bit. Then for inner corner highlights I'm going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonlight Glow Kit and taking a mixture of Purple Horseshoe and Blue Moon. And for the face I'm going to start with my Iconic London Drops in the shade Original and just brush them on to create a nice glowy base. For foundation I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW10 and just as always painting that all over the skin with this Real Techniques brush and then going in with my Real Techniques sponge and blending it all out. 
I like to use this technique because I feel with my skin it gives a nice a better full coverage because I do like to cover up all my freckles and make my skin just look smooth. For concealer, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair and just popping that in all the regular spots, so the under eyes, the centre of the forehead, down the nose, the cupid's bow and the chin, just highlighting all those sort of high points of the face. Then of course just blending that out using my Real Technique sponge. And just for those harder to reach areas, I'm just taking this little Morphe blending brush from the Eye Credible set and just getting right into that under eye and making sure I don't lose any of the blend and sort of around the eyebrows as well. To set all that in place, I'm going to take some of my RCMA No Colour Powder and I have just topped toppled this into my uh, Cryoland lid because it's easier for me to get at the powder because the RCMA tube is quite long and you can't just dip your sponge in. To bronze today I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in medium tan and just bronzing up my face so just down the cheekbones up the forehead and the temples and then along the jawline as well to create a bit of warmth to the skin because it is January and we're all pale AF. Then I'm just baking under my contour line with this Morphe sponge and just some of that RCMA powder cre to create a sharper line. And then just to deepen the contour I'm taking my An Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in light and just that central shade and just deepening up all those contour, contour areas. <music> For blush, I'm taking my Morphe 9B blush palette and just going in on them all. I'm not very specific when it comes to, to blush. So I'm just popping that on the apples of my cheek. Then for highlight, I'm taking the Holy Grail Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Glazed Donut Highlight, aka the greatest highlighter ever to walk this earth. I'm just highlighting all the usual spots. I'm just patting it back on my forehead and stuff because it did come out a little bit strong. For lips, I'm taking my NYX Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken, this gorgeous nudie colour. I was a bit stumped over what colour to use, but I just I picked this one up. Then to set everything in place, I'm taking my Mario Badescu Spray with Rose Water. And that's the finished look and I must say I did kind of forget to film an outro so I'll just do this. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe while you're down there. And thank you for watching this video. Bye.